this force are sometimes a little bit shy, but it looks like right away to our right hand side, I see not one, but two of these okapis. Those are the animals to our right. I a lot of people ask if the okapi is related to the zebra because of those stripes. They are just a little bit misleading though, because okapis are not related to zebras at all. Their closest relative turns out to be the giraffe. We know they're related to giraffes for a handful of reasons, but one of the main reasons you might have actually seen the one who's grabbing a snack out of that tree stump, um, you might have seen him stick his tongue out a second ago. Um, that tongue is one of the ways we know they're related. They both have that prehensile tongue, that really long, really strong tongue. Now here crossing the road to our left hand side, we're going to have a few more on our right. These reddish orange animals right here, these are the bongos. And bongos are usually nicknamed the ghosts of the forest because they are pretty rarely seen. Um, so it's quite a treat that we get to see so many of them out right now. They're just really shy animals. Most of the time they like to stay hidden in the bushes. Here to the left, grabbing what looks like some lunch. Um, we've got one of our rhino friends over here. This is the black rhino. And he is very large. He weighs about 3,000 pounds. But despite that large size, he is surprisingly fast. That black rhino can run about 35 miles per hour at his top speed. We do there's two over here, and I just saw, oh, there's a third one, and one is kind of swimming underneath the water over there. The hippos like to spend most of their time That's submerged cool. underwater throughout the day. You usually see them staying under for as many as eight minutes at a time before coming up for a breath of air. They love, love the water. The large white pelicans over there, uh, those were the pink back pelicans. And they just yeah, get their name from the pink color that appears like, on their feathers I know. during mating season. So it does look like I see mom out here right now to our left. No sign of the little baby bean though. <laughs> there. Way back in the corner. But as far as we know, mom is doing very well for now. So that is what we want. Over here to our left hand side, um, as we cross this bridge over here, we have quite a few of our Nile crocodiles who are out enjoying the sun. We have quite a few of them back there on land. Now, it's not unusual to see, but we'll be making our way over there shortly. Over here, the first animal I see is on our right hand side. It's a zebra, as I'm sure a lot of you can already tell. There's actually a couple more um, a little farther out to the right. We might get a little closer to those two um, as we continue on. But the zebra that we have here on the reserve are the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. And it looks like we've got at least three of them over here, so we can call them by their group name, which is a Dazzle. So we have a Dazzle of zebras over there to the right. If you've ever wondered if a zebra is black with white stripes or white with black stripes, there's an actual answer to that question. They are black with white stripes. Danny, over here. Monroe. I heard yeah. someone point out, do you see something oh, over here to the they're left? They're the hyenas. Or wild dogs or something. Over there. He's, he's, ah, good eye. I almost missed them. I didn't even see them under there. Underneath these rocks over here to the left-hand side. My friend up here pointed out we have some African wild dogs taking a little afternoon nap, it looks like. They're also sometimes called African painted dogs because of those beautiful coat patterns. So here to our left, we've got a group of those gray antelope with those curved horns back there. Those are the sable antelope. And over here to our left as well, um, we have this smaller zebra you see over here. This is actually our youngest zebra on the reserve. He's still technically a baby, a couple of months old now. Um, that's definitely his mom over there. You won't see him stray too far from his mom, not for a while. Baby zebras, excuse me, baby zebras will actually imprint on their mothers once they're born. And that just means that as soon as they come out and as soon as they take a look at her, those baby zebras are gonna memorize their mother's striped patterns completely. So they'll be able to pick her out from any other zebra they see. You can tell it's a Maasai giraffe because of their coat pattern. Those markings they have are just a little bit more irregular than other giraffe species. Have some animals with those enormous horns there in the center trees um, on the right as well. Those are the Ancoli cattle. And then here, closest to us on the right, we have these tiny little animals. These are the springboks. 
The springboks are some of the smallest animals we have on their reserve, but they are very impressive. They can jump about six feet in the air, 13 feet across, and they can run at approximately 50 to 60 miles per hour. So they are very, very hey, fast. Hey, so we have hey. some more of our giraffes here on the left hand side. We have a whole group of them, so we can call them by their group name, which is a tower. A very appropriate group name because they stand about 18 to 20 feet tall. You might notice we have, there are a few giraffes like this darker one here um, near the front. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than the adults, not quite the elephant or two in this area. And it looks like right away to our right hand side, we have a great view of one of our elephant friends. You might already be able to tell that this is an African elephant just based on the size of those ears. We also have some mandrel monkeys here to the left. Mandrels are the largest. large they're about six feet long five feet across and they weigh about a hundred pounds each those ears are very very important to the average actually yeah this one here to our left hand side you can see she's quite a bit smaller than everyone else so this is definitely one of the younger elephants you can see her kind of using her trunk to grab a snack those trunks are i think the elephant's most impressive feature the trunks contain over 40,000 muscles so just for comparison we only have about 600 muscles in our entire bodies they have 40,000 just in their trunk using her trunk to grab a drink just one of the many uses they have for those incredible trunks you might also notice um she's covered in some hay the elephants will do that during hot days especially because they have We do have quite a few baby flamingos in this area. Those are the little gray ones. Um, they're not going to start to turn pink until they begin to eat their own supply of brine shrimp. We also have some more of our white bearded wildebeest friends to our right hand side. Those wildebeest right away here to our left hand side. We have um, one of our white rhinos and one of her babies. He's definitely starting to grow quite a bit, but you can see he's a lot smaller than her still. We got to see the black rhino earlier in the Aturi forest. These are the white rhinos as mentioned, and the white rhinos are going to be just a little bit larger than the black rhino, uh, weighing in about four to 5,000 pounds instead of the 3,000 of the black rhino. White rhinos get their name from an Afrikaans word, white. And that word doesn't actually mean white, it means wide. And they call them the white rhinos because of the shape of their upper lip. Their upper lips are very wide and very flat. These white rhinos are grazers, so that wide, flat lip shape is where they get their name from. So our name for them, the white rhino, is actually just a misinterpretation of the original word. So I'm going to go kind of slowly in this area as well, and keep your eyes out to the left-hand side, because sometimes we can find a few cheetahs in this area. And I always say sometimes, because they are very good at camouflaging themselves. Um, when they don't want to be seen, it's really difficult to find them. But I think I saw, let's see, an animal um, in the dirt road, kind of hanging out all by himself. That is our Bantabak. But the warthogs are the largest burrowing animal in Africa. Um, so it's kind of unusual to see them sleeping outside of their burrows. They like to spend most of the time underground. But here's a really nice view of a couple more of our white rhinos. And there's actually going to be a third one when we come around this corner, kind of hiding in the bushes back there. But you can maybe get a look at the shape of those upper lips, those wide, flat lips. We do have a small pile of eggs here on the right as well. Those belong to our ostriches that we see back there. Very large eggs. They weigh about three pounds a piece, uh, but they belong to the largest bird in the world. Those ostriches stand at six feet tall and they weigh 150 pounds. So very, very large bird.
Here you go. Baby come out. I think it's like right there. there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it run. 